Welcome, 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 you guys, your gals, your gauze. It is Valerie's birthday. And yes, you are watching Gaw TV. Yes. And we are days away from Dresselmania, but there is nothing more important today to celebrate than our friend, Miss SoCal Val, and your day of birth, your week of birth, your entire month of birth birth we love you so much hey guys if you're watching make sure you give us a like give us a subscribe because you love us so much yeah and click that bell icon because we're going to be ringing a lot of bells in la so many bells all the bells as mickey says all the bells all the things all the things you guys things do you guys agree can i ask you a question before we get into this this is the craziest busiest week of our entire year it's going to be insane it's I'm literally crazy. doing stuff every single day, all day. Every day. Lisa is also, you know, I totally get it. Listen, this is a beautiful madness that happens every year mm-hmm. around WrestleMania, but really we, you know, it's WrestleMania. WrestleMania 3 <laughs> happening on April 1st at the Millennium Biltmore downtown Los Angeles Hotel. This hotel used to host the Oscars. So you yes. want to talk about a star studded Hollywood event. Dresselmania, listen, sit down, Oscars. Take a back seat. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I think it was the first one, if not several after that. Yeah. So, Oscars, you're cute, but you're going to take a back seat because right. what we're here for is Dresselmania. Dresselmania 3, Dresselmania 3. And, you know, this year it's bigger and better than ever, hosted by our celebrity host with the most. Mick Foley. Um, And we are benefiting childhelp.org, which you guys, we've been talking about for weeks and weeks. And Mickey has been an ambassador for them for years. It's a very, very worthy cause. And speaking of worthy causes, if you go to dresslomania.com, you can see that there are bids coming in around the clock for all of these amazing auction items. We've got dresses from all of us, Mickey, myself, Lisa, oh my gosh, ODB, everyone's come out of the woodwork, Michelle McCool, Renee Michelle, um, all the Michelles, um, you know, uh, Molly Holly. There have been so many amazing donations here. Plus, some of the guys are donating as well. And there's some amazing yeah. other um, autographed merchandise, thanks to Thuzio and Steve K. You know, a, a signed Bret Hart jersey, a signed Brian Danielson uh, package, some amazing cookware that are classic WWF little something nostalgic for our retro fans and of course something for our modern fans as well so go to dresslemania.com right now bid on an auction if you can if you can't we would be thrilled if you could donate just as a donate now button anything you can afford would be thrilled every little bit helps because what we're trying to do is to surpass our goal i think the first year we raised almost ten thousand dollars the second year was over ten thousand dollars we're hoping for more than that this year, especially with Mick Foley being so generous to host the event with us. So whether you're donating online, buying a ticket to Dresselmania, they're still on sale right now, um, or you're bidding on a live auction, you can help in so many ways and we would be forever grateful. No doubt. And you not just a yeah. ticket, you could get the VIP ticket and it comes with a photo op with the three of us and Mick Foley at the end of the night. Yeah. So yeah, I'm so excited. It's gonna be, And I have to say thank you to all of our friends who donated these amazing items yeah. to auction off for you fans. Yeah. Like it's, right. you know, I, we always go, Oh, it's a lot. And everyone has been so gracious and so amazing and their are pieces and, and the items up for bid. Can I tell a little secret? It's not yes, really please. a secret because I'm getting ready to what? tell you. I bid on the toaster and the crock pot. Oh, oh my God. Door. I was going to too. I did it. Well, if you outbid me, it's okay. But I was like, <laughs> hmm, I might, I might need that. I don't know I why kinda- I need it. I kind of love it. You know, you know what else I wanted to bid on? Okay, we're just we're telling secrets here, right? Just between us. Right. Just between us. Maria Canellis's cat suit. I would wear the F out of that. It is so sexy and so gorgeous. I was like, I would wear that. So there's so many great things up for grabs that even we are chomping at the bit to get there. And like Mickey said, so many people to thank. And if I can interject for a second. Thuzio, Fight TV, if you can't be at the event, you can watch on Fight TV. Ad free shows, Conrad, Steve K, LA Weekly. Lee Come Meltzer, on. everybody's been helping us to, you know, get this, get the word out and in progress wrestling, wrestle tours. Like there's so many people yeah. that just every year it seems to get bigger and better. But honestly, I don't know if you guys agree, but I think you will. Every year people seem to be 
more used to the idea of WrestleMania, which is great because it's getting some traction. But also right. people just seem to be even more generous every year to like, hey, yeah. is there a press release? Can I put it out for you? Can I interview you? DS right. Shit is going to be our, our red carpet correspondent. How about that? Uh, Oyo, everyone's just coming out of the woodwork to be like, hey, what can I do for this cause? Which is so yeah. freaking lovely. So amazing. Yeah, yeah great awesome. friends. So awesome. Like, and, yeah. and also people like we haven't even reached out to, like, hey, how can I donate? Yeah. Yes. How can I they're just just coming out of the woodwork, right? Yeah. They just want to part. It's it's amazing. This year was amazing, and I apologize. I was in the Middle East, not partaking in helping you guys post everything. I so. Oh my goodness! Sorry. You better but quit. You were doing amazing work. I, it was amazing. It's the amazing. Troops. The troops, baby. But you know, important. Like you know, you know, the WrestleMania is exciting, but you know, we're celebrating our 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 friendship with Val. Um, she's a special. She's a special cow. Yes. Just a, oh, <laughs> you like that? Okay, how special Val yeah. Gal. They all flock together. You get it? You get it? Yeah. But yes. Like a yeah. But yes. But um, I'm so excited to have on our YouTube. You could join our YouTube membership and we are gonna have a special question and answer. How well do you know Val? Yes. How well game show um, time. Uh oh. More the, we love you. a good game. We, we love do. a good game here. We do. We do. Yeah. We do. Oh my gosh! Stay tuned for that. So if, if you're you watching as a regular drink. member, yeah, get those drinks ready. Because if you're watching as a regular YouTube person, great, we appreciate you. But YouTube members will get the gorgeous. That's right, Lisa. The gorgeous, juicy, juicy version. And I made these these questions like a few weeks ago, and I was so I was cracking up. I, was, I couldn't sleep, I'm and ready. I was like making these. I was cracking up. It's going to be hilarious, and you get a lot of perks to be a YouTube member. But you guys, it's going to be so much fun. And I appreciate. I have you. my yeah. pen. I have my paper. I, I am so ready. I do too. I do too. Well, I hope that everyone that's coming to Dresselmania maybe sings you happy birthday in person. You could get some yes. happy birthday for the entire week that you're in LA by, by people. That's what I'm going to actually, I'm going to ask all of you if you're going to be there at Dresselmania because she loves it when you do this. Please <laughs> sing happy birthday to Val when you see her. It'll be so special. And she'll love it so much. All nervous. You remember that, don't you? That I'm like, I don't know what to do. People sing to me. I'm like, <laughs> she's not the shy one out of our bunch. She's not the shy no. one out of our bunch. So it's so weird to see you're so shy about the happy birthday. I love a birthday. I, love a birthday. I don't know why. I love a birthday, but I, I guess it's the singing. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Being Can I tell you a little, little a piece of history? Yeah, it's a long song, first of all. <laughs> In sync, who I'm gonna drop some, I'll drop five names here. They're in sync, which by the way, now people that are like younger than us will be like, oh, is it N S Y N C? And I'm like, oh my god, their name is in sync. How old are we? Have you heard this? It's so old. Uh uh. I just feel old. Anyway, um, I was around them as a kid. My mother plays their dance choreographers, and they um <laughs> they sang to me happy birthday, and I was mortified. Uh, and anyone on this planet would be like, wow, in sync sang you happy birthday. That's and so it was cool. my 11th birthday. And you were like, oh, and cringe. I was like, this is awful. Oh, we got to get Joey oh. on so I can tell him that story because he'll be like, really? It's so horrible. That's so, yeah, we should. We yeah. should we have should. one yeah. so you can ask him if he remembers that when he came and sang you happy birthday that one time. <laughs> like, thank you so much. I hated it. So and Joey, would you do it again when we see you in LA? If you could just sing to her happy birthday one more listen, time. Listen, Justin. And for JT old time's and sake. And Chris Kirkpatrick. <laughs> Chris Kirkpatrick, who saw me later. This is like, not Val, this is your life, but like. I knew when I was like 11, you know, 10 and 11. And then he saw me and I was like 28. And he was like, why do you have boobs? This is freaking me out. You need to walk away from me. This is creeping me out. You're 11 and go away. It was really funny. <laughs> Anywho, I digress. Back to the episode. It's disturbing to see people grow up. Like a lot of our, look at her powder. Um, it's, just, it's just like when you see like little girls that wrestle, when we watch them and they're like grown uh, women. Yeah. You know, like, like Danny that, helps with our website yeah. i knew her when she was 14 and now she's 27 oh wow. my god yeah and two words katie hebner she just had a birthday and i was like you're in your 20s what the hell it's is that me? it makes me 37 years old horrifying yes yes but cool <laughs> i accept happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. 
Thank hey, you, dear so SoCal right. Valerie, yeah. our gallery. Aww. Happy birthday to you. I love you guys so much. Look at that kazoo. You, you really kazoo? should have. Kazoo, 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 you better don't. Thank you, guys. You're so sweet. You're welcome. You're Back welcome. to the episode. My God. <laughs> it, it was a hard one. It's like, I don't want to make the episode about me. It is a birthday ish era, but uh, timing. But we're all about dress mania, you guys. It's exciting. And Lisa, I know that you're, you have so much to talk about with your trip away. Yes, yes. And, and as we always start, uh, Mickey, you're supposed to start us with um, what you drink and Sorry. what you wear. Oh yeah, I got Definitely. so carried away with Val Valerie's know, birthday. I know. I know. You know what? Sharing. What are we drinking? First, what are we wearing? I don't know why I grabbed myself. I'm that excited. I guess it's yeah. the sparkles. They have that it's effect. The yeah, they're they're mesmerizing. But I'll, I'll go first. I'm wearing one of the um, bases, um, Prince Sultan Air Base. Um, that was in Saudi Arabia, and wow. this is long of a story, you guys, about my Middle East trip. So we'll we'll cover this couple of weeks after dresselmania which this is our focus right now yeah. but honestly oh my god i can't wait to hear so, all about it. i know honestly exhausting rewarding oh my gosh it was just incredible super safe wow wow yeah. good yeah. i, love to hear I knew you'd be safe i knew you, i just but i've seen like some of the pictures that you posted and it just looks so fun and you had looked like you had a really great crew of people with you too so i'm I did. sure it was I, a yeah. My dad was in the Air Force, and when WWE never asked me to go overseas for the troop visits, my yeah. feelings were hurt. So, right. you know, I'm, I'm getting that opportunity. So, that's a amazing. Lot, a couple weeks when we cover this. Yes. Yeah. That'll be a social peak wait. and a half. Yeah. And honestly, so you guys stay tuned because we, we do social oh, peaks all the time. What did you say? But that is, that social is, peaks. woo! That is one you're going to want to see. And I, I hope you'll send us some pictures and videos because, again, these are memories you're going to make for a lifetime. I went to Iraq in 2009 with Tracy Brooks. Um, I mean, every tour is different, but I just thought, you know what? This is something that I'm going to always remember that I did for my country and for the support of the troops. And my goodness, it's so wonderful that you did that, Lisa. So thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, sis. Yeah, no, don't thank me. Like, I felt guilty people saying thank you to me. Right. Coming to entertain. And I'm like, yeah. oh, my kidding me you're away from your family and like your kids and stuff like yeah. that the honor is mine so I felt yeah. very guilty people saying thank you to me it was really odd yeah but I'm sure yeah. that they love the fact because they've been like to have people because not a lot of people would go over there you yeah. know like just and it takes yeah. a lot to for the travel like you said it was a lot of travel and it was just not just the flights going all the way out that way and I know you did several stops but also coming back and then just putting your life at risk, you know, go into the different, you go under the same like kind of rules and everything else as them. Yeah. And so they really appreciate it that you take the trip all the way out there to see them when they can't yeah. come back here. So you're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank no, you. honestly, it's, it's, it's a big deal. And, and for, for, for your situation, it's kind of like, if you could take their minds off of what they're doing and, and how serious a situation it is for even a few minutes, you've done your job. Right. So yeah. we want to say thank you, Lisa. So that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I love you guys. I love you guys. Love but what you. are you guys drinking? What you wearing? Well, you didn't see what you were drinking. Are you imbibing Lisa? Oh. I'm trying to, um, I went to CVS and I'm remember those, there's those three brands I don't like and trying different brands and, Oops, my my palate is changing, you guys. It's it's changing. It's just I have to add ice and water to my wine. I don't know what's oh. going on. I did start drinking overseas, Tangerine and tonic. Were you That's allowed in certain areas, or how did that go? Oh no no not no no no. There was a lot of dry areas. No no yeah. no. Um, our first stop was, uh, Dilo ordered Tangerine tonic. I go, you know what? I haven't had a gin and tonic. I go, but Val says, gin and tonic for women. What is it? The uh, what do you call it? Oh, it's Mother's oh. Ruin. The gin, the gin will make yeah. you cry a little bit. A lot of that. it. I was scared to drink that, but their wine wasn't up to par, so I drank that, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm loving it." But I was, it made me happy. Good. So I might yeah. switch to spray tonic. I think Lisa and 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 again, you guys, we, we've said this on many. How many? I wish people could tell us how many episodes we said that on, but it's hysterical. Mother's <laughs> Ruin. I think it's because there was nothing else available, and these the mothers. You know, we're, they had nothing else to drink. They were making bathtub gin, and it was like all they oh. were drinking for days on end. So I suppose that could be anything to make you depressed. 
that could yeah, be tequila right. after a few days. If you have no, you know, other water, you're just drinking. I'd, I'd be sad too. I'd be valuing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you guys drinking? What are you wearing? Um, I made a little, I made a little birthday cocktail, you know, uh, and this is from my friend Murph's on 21. This is in St. Louis. If you're in St. Louis, go over to Murph's, but that's where this glass is from. Uh, but I wanted to, I was trying to channel my inner Val today. I also have a shot prepared by the way. Yay. How you too? Yeah. There's a little vodka fresca and it was like, uh, so in my drink, I put like a little hibiscus syrup or something. It's like a sweet hibiscus, oh. like little syrup. It's really tasty, actually. Um, I have that's a so weird. That's my, my little... drag name, Sweet Hibiscus. I don't know how you knew that. Sweet that's Hibiscus. I, I, well, this is actually called the Val. Yay! Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Alan told me what to put in it. Oh, oh, he did. All yeah, but I didn't get. I didn't have any roofie, so. <laughs> oh darn! He knows I love a roofie or two. You know, <laughs> why don't they call them groundies? If anyone knows that <laughs> on the live chat, please put it, or or if you're watching on members, please put it on the comments. If you don't know what Rufy and Groundies is about and what movie that's from, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I love that movie. It's my favorite. I do oh, too. God. So I tried, yeah. but I did try to vowel it up as much as possible. I have a lovely scarf on here and I tied it in some sort of scarf knot. Oh. That I feel like is a, you know, it was very you. Uh, I don't know if you remember this little number, this oh, little yeah. Ask me. shot. I need one. Brilliant. Is there stuff in it? Yas, queen. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. And this is how we are now. How are we going to be in LA? I'm terrified for us. Your hair color. She did an amazing Maybe job. Maybe I should bring this back to LA. Um, and then I have these love glasses evolution, which are, they've got, I've had these for ages, but they're like cute little, they're meant to spread love and positivity. And then you're supposed to like hashtag them whenever you're wearing them. So maybe I'll hashtag them when we put this episode out. They're very, so, um, do you remember the Charlie's Angels movies with like Cameron Diaz and Dirt? Remember what yeah. Drew Barrymore and Lucy Liu, where they had, like, it was, and I, I bought all of them. I was obsessed. They had those sort of glasses that were like the ombre from one color to another. And they had the little crystals. Oh. It was a huge trend. Yeah. Oh. You know, I know it was a huge trend because they had them in Claire's because I'm classy. Claire's, <laughs> Claire's had everything. Them. What about they icing? Had... Icing tried to come in and swoop Claire's away. They did. They did. They almost. I was reading an article about like like stores that are not around anymore like all the ones from my childhood like claire's icing limited two was my jam with the spice oh. pops bb arden b yeah. oh i love some Wait, bb is not bb not really they, bb was starting listen you can always tell when it's going downhill when they have an outlet you're like uh oh they had an outlet ages ago and then now it's very very hard to find bb right i know i didn't yeah you can't find but it and i used to when I first debuted, I wore so much BB. Me too. I, I was, yeah, I loved it. I loved their sport suits. I loved their shirts. Oh. I loved everything. Yeah, they had like My a workout wardrobe. gear. It was really sexy, like different, like, um, like like piping and like different, like bright colors. Especially, yeah. if it works out a lot. I, I wore it, but I wasn't working on it. But it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And lots of like, like corporate type stuff. Right. Well before you were paying for overpriced Lululemons that are just black leggings. I know. With that one pocket for your cell phone that charges an extra yeah. 200, like what what? <laughs> Why did my cell phone in my on my leg anyway? I'm like, I still, Wait, I still love my, go from the cutest leg. like little workout outfits you ever saw from like BB or even Victoria's Secret would have some cute ones, right? Yeah. And then we go to pay like three times as much at Lululemon for a pair of black yoga pants who is this lulu who did she ever be what, what do we owe her and what's her thing with lemons what's she doing know. with all these lemons you know why because she's sour on the prices that's why because mm. she's sour yeah on the price point and i don't appreciate it yeah <laughs> really don't listen athleta we see you and we abhor you I, um, I will tell you on that note i am drinking um i thought i'd stick with a vodka because i am flying out in the morning so that okay let me do a vodka sode uh-huh bringing it vodka so in my little white wine cup and i do have a giant it's, it's a giant shot of vodka uh just vodka with some flavoring it was a nice oh. there. i am wearing uh, i wore this mickey when you were there i wore it at the uh tyson fury uh cardiff thing i right. thought it was a jumpsuit 
My yeah. Suit. And uh, a little sparkly headband. Ella might be watching, so that's in honor of Ella. But yeah, I just, I wanted to be a little sparkly and a little fun because listen, I'm getting into LA mode because WrestleMania is around the corner and I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited too. I bet. How excited are you to come back to the States? I know you were just here not too long ago. Yeah. But I can tell you that the weather is lovely. Yeah. Here, it's nice and warm here in Nashville today after coming from cold Canada, but I'm just, you know, yeah. it's, it's, I can't wait to see your face. I can't I wait for us all to be I'm together. I'm so excited because we're, we're going to be in LA, obviously for WrestleCon, for those uh, that are uh, going to be in LA, which we hope you will be able to join us for WrestleMania. We'll be at WrestleCon Friday through Sunday uh, at Wrestle Tours in our Gaw TV suite. Uh, by the time this mm -hmm. airs, I'm not sure if there will be any tickets available, but either way, Gaw TV suite, courtesy of Wrestle Tours and Progress Wrestling, who we so appreciate, but then also WrestleCon signing. Uh, Mickey's got straight out of WrestleCon. Lisa's got, what's it called? Mitzvah Mania? Oh, I got Mitzvah Mania. Yes, coming out right? the Sunday. Yeah, the Sunday. Um, yeah. Cole Cabana and I are booked on this. So uh, yeah, yeah. That's Everybody's so welcome. Everybody's welcome. All Everybody. are welcome. All are welcome. <laughs> yeah. but honestly, like like we said when, when this episode started, it's the craziest week of our whole year. And yeah. there's so much to do. But obviously, WrestleCon is, we'll all be there. WrestleMania, uh, a little bit here and there. But um, obviously, Dresselmania, again, April 1st, link in the description. Dresselmania.com has all the information. But yes, to answer your question, Mickey, I'm so excited to go to the States, but I have not been back to L.A. in maybe, maybe 10 years. Like, I had wow. a random, yeah, it's crazy. And I lived there for about collectively like three years, hence the SoCal name. And I did mm -hmm. my first show there like three days after my 16th birthday, 2002. Um, so... I'm just excited to see like how it's changed to see like, like I, I was looking at restaurants I used to love to go to and things like that. So for that reason, mm -hmm. I'm excited because it's not just a WrestleMania event. It's where I'm going, where I used to live before my husband's coming with me. We can see some fun things, but yeah, very, very excited. Yeah. So fun. Yeah. yeah. It's so going to be so fun. It's going to be so fun. So before we get to my little crazy game, which we will get to in a moment, um, any further WrestleMania things going on? Cause I will say one announcement that we did make as I powder, Fight TV was the first to announce that Mickey James, during WrestleMania, excuse me, during WrestleMania, you're going to be doing a musical performance because we knew oh, it was a reality show. Mick I know. Was with us, interviews, but they were like, what else is it? And I said, well, I have some information, insider information. So tell us a little bit about what we can expect at the WrestleMania oh. event with you. Oh, well, I thought, you know. Are you, are you singing at our event, Mickey? Two surprise, Lisa. Surprise, uh, surprise. You well, know, I'm a mark out, I'm a thing. girl out. About was it tw uh 2020? It was right at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, there's this little girl, Roosevelt Rawls, and she was 14 at the time. We released a song for child help for her five too many campaign, which was to go. It was like an awareness campaign that five children die every day from child abuse here in America. So I know it, wow. it's awful when you think, and that's reported, just report. But anyway, I know that's that heavy. That number but, so, just seems insane to think about. Right. Wow. Was, yeah. So she started this campaign and her goal was to keep spreading awareness and to raise a million dollars. And And I believe she reached her goal, but we had written this song. Yeah, that's how I got to know Roosevelt was through her campaign. She put a heart on your hand and we could, we'd all do it. Um, so, but we ended up writing this song uh, with the love of a child uh, with the money to go back to child help and for an awareness campaign. And it, it dropped, it was unfortunate time because it dropped right when the pandemic hit. And so I know we talked about the song here and we released it and everyone who's ever heard the song loves it. Well, she has, her new single getting ready to come out called Sweet 16 because here we are like two years later and she's about to turn 16. And so she's not only going to perform her new single, um, she's going, we're going to sing our song together with the love of a child at the Dresselmania. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yay. Wow. So you guys will finally get to meet her in person. She's so yeah. sweet. She's also doing a bunch of stuff um and the speak up be safe campaign and doing a lot of work within the schools um for child help as well it's a whole new campaign that she's kicking off um so yeah 
She's awesome. Wow. She's so inspiring and so young uh, and to be so dr driven and, and to want to help so much. Like it's just, it's amazing to see. And she's got an incredible voice. So Inspir that'll be fun. Inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I, you know what it was, it was like one of those surprises. Cause she called cause they wanted to come out and they're like, Oh, we want to come. And I was like, well, if you're going to come all the way out there, do you want to, can we make this a performance and say, yeah. we don't have the band. We're going to be singing the tracks. She's got her guitar player. That's going to be there. So he'll be there, but it's going to be awesome. So I may have her come join me the night before straight out of WrestleCon. So that way oh. we can have, yeah, we can do some stuff there the night before. But for me, I was originally supposed to have a title shot on Thursday. At yeah. the, I was going to have a four-way championship match at Impact Wrestling for the title. Well, it, okay. I'll say I was going to because I was pretty certain that, or I felt pretty good about being, you know, still being champion walking into the Multiverse United match because yeah. I was supposed to have a match this weekend against Jordan Grace, my rematch that was scheduled, her rematch. Um, but I broke my rib, ladies. Yeah. I broke my lit rib and it's been healing. I broke it in Vegas at the Lasso TV. So broke it. It's been healing. Um, so I guess the question is, so I won't be able to compete at multiverse, but I'm going to be there because I got to yeah. see who's going to win because so now after talking to management and talking to Santino and trying to figure out the best way, you know, because there's been a lot of injuries. Uh, Josh Alexander was also I injured. I saw that. Bless his he heart. His what tricep, a lovely guy. So. Yeah. Yeah. And mine is a six to eight week injury and his is like a six to nine month injury, like no. back and everything, you know, when you tear your, think about when I had my ACL and Lisa, you've had knee stuff, but that was a six. And I didn't believe him when they told me, Oh, six to nine months. I was like, come on, yeah. you're being, that's insane. But then you get in it and you start doing the rehab and you realize like, Oh yeah, it is actually every bit of it. But so I'm fortunately it could have been taking it in stride Mickey, but especially Josh Alexander, who I've interviewed is so amazing. What a talent. Yeah. That's got to be rough for him. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, Especially because I, now he's never really lost the title and he's the longest reigning Impact World yeah. Champion. Um, and yeah. I love you have to give wife. it up. Yeah. Yeah. They're so great. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I think it was a matter of not really wanting to have to relinquish two titles, but mine, which is much sm shorter injury time, like recovery time. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah. And I know you guys, I talked to you guys and I was muscling through it, but it was weird because when I got the first um, x-rays, if you remember, I got the first x-rays and they go like, well, nothing's broken. So then they thought, started to think that I had like torn the cartilage between my ribs, mm -hmm. which was going to be longer because there's no surgery for it. So that was going to be a three to whatever month recovery time. So I'm almost like a blessing that it was just a broken rib. And I know that's weird to say, but because no, it could have been yeah. a lot more if it was yeah. what they saw so when i ended up having to get the mri done they found this the break it wasn't displaced but the break up here in my chest so thank god it was clavicle that's longer well, yeah and i messed up my shoulders before but yeah but thank god it didn't like get displaced because my lungs because i couldn't breathe for like it was really hard to breathe and like to do stuff but it feels better now because I'm further out. So fingers crossed after LA, after we have this amazing week in LA, I go see the doctor when I get back here to Nashville and I will know then because it's either going to be a triple threat with Jordan and the winner of Multiverse United and myself um, at Rebellion or if I'm not cleared and the doctor won't clear me, then I'm going to have to relinquish the title and whoever oh. wins that match will be the new champion i know that's rough for you and i will say like i, I said to you personally on boxer i was like i think you knew well it makes me upset i just i, I don't want my friends to be hurt but i felt i like in a weird way it was validation because you knew something was wrong right like you right. knew something was wrong and they weren't seeing it and 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 kudos to you because you know everyone wants to be a hero and just go i'm fine i'm fine i'm gonna just power through but for God's sake, something like that, you cannot, yeah. it's just only going to get worse and eventually be worse for you. So kudos for, you know, doing the right decision and and, and making yeah. sure that you were okay, but it is an unfortunate thing. So I'm sorry to hear that, but you are, you're our champion forever. So you'll be I fine, but it's just, yeah. it's a shame. Yeah. Absolutely. It'll all work out how it's meant to work out. I'm praying for my healing. I'm going to be drinking a lot of bone broth and bone broth. <laughs> Me of too. drinking all like, that bone broth in my vodka. 
I missed my look how big this straw is, by the way. That is a I large have, unit. I, of a straw. Is, I have that straw too. I love yeah. that. Oh my but ladies, gosh. um, wishing you the what best time you're gonna it? power through. I game time. It's a game time. I think it's game time. Uh, do you ladies have your your pen and your paper ready? Yeah. Oh boy, do I. I. Okay. Let me go back. So my pen. Okay, so we are gonna start. Okay, well game. before we play, well, before we start our game, because obviously this game time, our game time is exclusively exclusively. There's the word that Baca's <laughs> kicking in. Yeah, my, my, my mouth stopped working. Um. Is for our Patreon. I just want to say thank you, Patreon. We don't have Patreon anymore. Oh, we don't have it. YouTube. 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 This is exclusively for our YouTube members, um, our little game. So before we go, we just want to say thank you guys and make sure you tune in to GawTV.com yes, so you please. can always know where to find us and go to Dresselmania.com so you can get your tickets, so you can come join us, so you can get your VIP meet and greet with us there because yeah. we really don't want you to miss it. And um, drop us a comment. And thanks for being at the live chat. Yes. And, and make sure you sing Val Happy Birthday every chance you yeah. get. Oh, Love my it. goodness. Love Listen. It. I'm so happy to spend my birthday with you guys. I love you so much. I love everyone in the live chat and thank you for being here. But again, we're on the road to Dresselmania and this is kind of our last stop. So Dresselmania, April 1st, Dresselmania.com has all the information. If you can't be there live, donate all you can, bid on those auctions and make us proud to support this amazing charity, Child Help. Cheers, everybody. YouTube Cheers. members, stay tuned. It's coming up, but love you guys. Thank Woo you. The games begin. Woohoo! Oh, Lord in heaven. Wait till you see. Y'all aren't even ready. You ain't ready. This is the word. Go, yo, go.